I've been reading a riveting book with the creative title Young Children Behaviour Volume 4 and it has made some interesting clarifications about little kids. They are impervious to evil. That's right. In spite of what literally every horror movie for some reason attempts to say, using symbolism I cannot remember in spite of many years of high school English, children are incapable of being outright malicious. This book basically broke down child raising into three categories, neglectful, controlling, and guiding. Neglectful involving hitting children with really big sticks for no apparent reason, my preferred um, educational style. Controlling, which involves telling kids what to do and using simple carrot stick learning styles. And guiding, which is essentially facilitating the environment that maximizes natural growth, which really sounds like a businessman trying to oppress his superior. I'm only a few pages in so far, my brain is already blown to broom. And speaking of West Australian towns, how about this for a cool phrase I made up that I wish people used? Keeping it care. Which means keeping it quiet. I came up with the idea when I kept thinking and hearing about Kalgoorlie's wasted potential as an Australian Las Vegas. City in the desert. I doubt it'll catch on, as much like the town itself, the phrase's popularity will be tranquilized from here on out. Anyway, so this book argues that the carrot and stick approach that comes from a controlling educational style is dog shit at teaching kids because it runs under the assumption that when kids do mean things like pushing around other kids or breaking rules, that it is done intentionally. Which, when dealing with three to four year olds, is obviously untrue. I've worked in a crash before, and they can't even colour in Dora the Explorer. Have you seen her head? It is fucking impossible to not colour within the lines, and they still manage to fail. Frozen, I can understand. Elsa and Anna are lanky ladies by comparison. But Dora! Guidance, on the other hand, runs under the assumption that children are obviously predisposed to learn and develop as much as possible, and as caregivers, our job is to ensure that they have the required environment in which they are able to learn as quickly as possible through play and other laissez-faire means. In much the same way as I only know about algebra because I used to master train fantasy creatures called Pokemon, Children learn a lot of applicable skills by playing fantasy with friends. Except, you know, in my example, I didn't actually have friends. This book even went as far as saying the controlling teaching method is partially responsible for child sexual abuse and war crimes because it teaches compliance. The child abuse coming from kids not knowing they can say no to adults and war crimes being committed by people just following orders. There are a lot of crazy wingnuts out there who believe that there is an insidious elite trying to force us into compliance or whatever. And I'm not saying they're technically wrong about half of that. Just read Manufacturing Consent by Edward and Chomsky. But if they were really scared about being forced into becoming a compliant drone in society, then our biggest focus should be on raising children not to be fucking sheeple by ensuring that they have a safe learning environment so they can think for themselves, you see. Fully intend to get political here for a second, but that is one of many reasons why I think it is important to vote for Albo in the next federal election, as one of his major focuses will be ensuring massive improvements in the childcare sector, both in accessibility and quality. I'm not promoting that totally because I'm not moving into that industry myself, but you know. Learning about esoteric Australian politics is basically like being a pig to the trough of me. I love that shit. Back to the intel on the one subject every average Aussie punter wants to know. School grade textbook information on early childhood education. The general problem of an adult authority figure complex which forms through controlling learning styles is that the adult becomes the boss, making the entire relationship about power. I wish I had power, these are lanky, lanky arms. With the adult usually having it all and the child having none or sometimes vice versa. 
With resentment building due to one wielding constant power to hold reward or dish out punishment. The alternative to this resentment building form of power play is one which seeks to basically get educators to use a term called personal power, which is essentially controlling how you react to a situation rather than completely controlling it. Another word I guess is stoicism. Everyone ever heard of stoicism? Pretty awesome. This is not to say become some sort of Buddhist monk meditating amongst preventable chaos. But to have a mutual and reciprocal power dynamic with the child so you are in some constant emotional gladiator battle will fucking Manny from Ice Age. Anyway, that is all that I have read up to in this book so far. That is a chapter and a half because this book is boring and dense and Rimworld is ruining my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>